Hey guys, what's going on today? Bo Joe here, and welcome to our NHL 16 Be a Pro series, the skater portion of it, following the one and only Peter Forsberg. That is right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the montage at the beginning of this video. And I should start off by saying thank you to everybody who casted their vote or sent a suggestion in during that NHL 16 Be a Pro Ideas video that I put out a long, long time ago. So many awesome suggestions from you guys for players to do. And like I said, running off of the success of the series that Rick DiPietro had, uh, he didn't have any, any success, but the series did have a great success in NHL 15, even with a very lackluster Be a Pro. I decided I wanted to do along the same type of thing for NHL 16. This time, we're going to either do it another goaltender or a skater pro. And on that video, I said I was just going to go with the comment, whoever had the most likes, and uh, James Hong, who had the most likes comment on that video, had his two suggestions as the skater being Peter Forsberg or the goaltender being Antero Nidamaki. So uh, I decided to, you know, since I'm a Flyers fan, even though I didn't really like Antero Nidamaki all too much, I decided to push him to the side. And we're going to go with Peter Forsberg. Why not? The 40 something year old who has retired is back in the NHL once again to hopefully get. A certain team to that Stanley Cup Finals and so that Pierre Forsberg I believe can win his third or I, I think it's his third or fourth uh, Stanley Cup in the NHL so uh, once again the player creation is not the greatest in this game because you can't really select hair or you can only select head model so I did my best to try to find the best hair model with some flow behind it and this is fortunately the best one that I could find it does it still kind of does look like him from a distance it looks like a very young Peter Forsberg even though he's supposed to be 40 something in this game and even though in the game he's supposed to be 18 but still we do our best strapped him up in his Easton gear as always repping number 21 Peter Forsberg a retired number and uh, we're gonna continue here keep colors when traded we're gonna save and continue our progress and instead obviously we're not gonna start with the entry draft or starting the CHL we're gonna choose a team for Peter Forsberg and which team is going to take on Peter Forsberg well it is the team that he has the most history with even though the team that drafted him is the Philadelphia Flyers his banner is hanging up in the in the Colorado Avalanche in the Pepsi Center right now. It's time to bring that banner back down as Peter Forsberg is going to come out of retirement and rejoin the Colorado Avalanche. That is right. So, Simeon Varlamov, Gabriel Landeskog, Matt Duchesne, Nathan McKinnon, welcome back Peter Forsberg to the Colorado Avalanche and a Be A Pro. So, I set Peter Forsberg up. He is a 69 overall center right now, and he is a power forward. Now, a lot of people might have some disputes with that, but personally, in my opinion, that's how I view Peter Forsberg as a uh, player. I viewed him as a power forward with tremendous playmaking and shooting skill but you know he can throw the body just as easily as anybody out there in the NHL so Pierre Forsberg is going to be a power forward now the game settings this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky for the skater so we're going to leave it on authentic the way you choose yep so be a pro simming penalty I'm going to turn that off I'm going to turn that one off difficulty superstar obviously draft pick ownership is that uh, game is going to be hardcore simulation uh, arcade is well maybe we should leave it on simulation no we want hardcore simulation duh all right so injuries are going to be on obviously be a pro camera dynamic low you know i i think i actually for this series i was thinking about just switching it over to overhead but you know what i have, i've never done a be a pro series where we kept the be a pro camera angle on so you know what i'm going to keep dynamic low on if i don't like it i'll change it around to something that might be a little bit more entertaining for you guys but you know what dynamic low i think will be pretty awesome for this off ice training reminder on weekly xp gains are going to be on all right the rules Fighting, yep. Uh, penalties, good. Penalty time scaling is there. Offsides are delayed. Post whistle rules. Coincidental penal coincidental penalty time scale. Uh, you know what? This is the default, so we'll leave that. Advanced settings. Playoff series length. Authentic continuous overtime. Yep, all those are fine. And quick settings. Uh, period length. You can't change it. So period length is automatically set on 20 minutes. So you cannot change the period length in Be a Pro. It's automatically set on 20 minutes. So that is going to be what we're going to be rolling with. Start our career. Uh, restart our career, I should say, with the Colorado Avalanche. Welcome back, Peter Forsberg. All right. So now here's what we have to decide for the skater portion of this Be A Pro career. 
Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who do be a pro series, and I want to find the best possible ba way to balance this be a pro series so that it is entertaining for you guys. So we're going to start off with preseason here. Obviously, we'll check out our lines and all that fun stuff in a minute, but, uh, you know, let's do all that stuff first. So let's look at our coach feedback of what he wants us to do. Uh, defense and team play. There is no targets set as of right now. We can edit our player and go to the player growth. Obviously, we're not going to have any player growth as of yet. I think player training will automatically hit when we hit to this uh, the season there. But let me just double check the settings here. Uh, 20 minutes. Yep, it's automatically locked on to 20 minutes, unfortunately. So we're going to have to roll with the 20 minutes. And yeah, so those are the rules. We can't change those. Okay, so uh, let's simulate to the preseason game first. Probably going to get a notification from our GM. Here we go. So welcome to the Colorado Avalanche organization. We're happy to have you aboard. The preseason is coming up shortly, and we'll be trying out various roster combinations to see who gets the slots on the pro team and who plays for our AHL affiliate, the San Antonio Rampage. Impress us out there, and you can play in the pros, kid. <laughs> You're talking to Peter Forsberg here, freaking Joe Sackick, for God's sakes. We're excited to have a power forward like you in our franchise. Okay, some people view the preseason as throwaway games, not me. I'll be watching closely out there to see if you have what it takes to play on the Colorado Avalanche roster. Impress me and you'll be called off. If not, San Antonio Rampage will be will be your home at the start of the season. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's choose our training right now, what we want to train ourselves on. So let's go for some face-offs. We can do that for an hour. So we still have five hours remaining. Uh, let's get our power skating up. That's two hours, and then we still have three hours remaining. And let's get stick handling for the last three hours. Cool. Okay, so training is done. I like how that new training mechanic works. It gives you EXP that'll increase certain stats that you will have. Uh, you can't otherwise train throughout the year. So I think that's cool. It happens every week during the uh during be a pro and they'll notify you of that so let's check out our lines and let's see what kind what we are going to be playing with here in free season so it's going to be blake como nathan mckinnon and jerome ginla on line one uh john mitchell joey hishin and jesse winchester line two andrew agazino peter forsberg actually you know what i kind of like that picture that really does look like peter forsberg i you know i was going to replace that with just a png picture of peter forsberg but the more i look at it that actually does look like a young 20, like late 20 year old Peter Forsberg. That looks actually pretty cool. And Ben Street, and then uh, Borna Redelick, Troy Bork, and Colin Smith. On offense, defensively for the preseason, Nick Holden and Tyson Barry, Francois Boschman and Nikita Zadorov, Duncan Siemens and Zach Redman on defense. And then in goaltending, we are going to have Sammy Atikaleo and Spencer Martin. Okay, so we're gonna be on the third line. And, okay, so here's what we're going to do for this preseason. Now, like I said, a bunch of people have their own ways of which they do their Be A Pro careers. Now, the best way, I, I would love to simulate the entire game, do guys, and play the entire game. But it's, it's really just going to take way, 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 way too long. And I really don't have the time for that. Especially if it's 20-minute periods, even though the simulate between line, sh line changes is back. It's going to take way, way, way too long. So what we're going to do is I think the best case scenario, and I hope you guys agree with that, is just to simulate the first two periods and then play just the third period. We can, we can determine if we want to play every single game throughout the entire year as well. But I think this is the best way to uh, do this be a pro player, especially with a skater. When we do goaltender, we can adjust the period length and the time that goes by so that it'll adjust properly. But for right now, I think we should just do um, the uh, simulate the first two periods and then... Uh, and then just play the third period and see how that goes. So once again, here's the new in-game simulation. If you guys have not seen this yet, uh, it works the same way as old gen, but we can sim the period and all that stuff. So first period, nothing happening in the first. Second period, uh, nothing happening there. And then the third period, we're going to intervene into the third. It is a nothing to nothing game here in uh, Chicago. And let me just, uh, I was going to see if I could edit the things, but unfortunately not. all right so i have to see if the on visual on ice trainer is on if it is i'm going to definitely turn that off and we'll see if our be a pro camera is actually cool or not but here we go peter forsberg's first freaking start back in the nhl 
And here we are against the Chicago Blackhawks here in the preseason in the United Center. So first period here in Chicago, like uh, third period here in Chicago. It's good. It's going by 20 minutes real simulation. So we'll send to the next shift here. We'll see if the uh, if the on ice visual trainer is on. If it is, I'll turn that off and we'll see how the camera actually works with this. So Forsberg's ready to go, jumping on the ice, and there he goes. And yeah, you know what? This camera angle actually is a, a perfect camera angle to use. And the visual on ice trainers and the indicators are on. So I want to change those right now as we are and we are ready to play this as Peter Forsberg here in the first game back from the preseason and he's gonna try to lay a hit down but here we go all right Redmond around the puck will place some defense as Peter Forsberg up and they're gonna wrap it around the back end Patty Kane Patty Kane is playing up Jalmerson oh nice interception attempt there by Forsberg down low Kane all right come on Forsberg let's let's just stay in the slot here stay in the slot up oh, tries to intercept Jalmerson big slap shot a big save there at Forsberg. He does have it. All right, cool. Let's get this up the ice. Over to Agazino. Up, oh, they want a line change. All right, cool. Defensive defensive shift. I'm perfectly fine with that. So do the last line shift. He's rusty out there. He's a 42 year old or a 40 something year old man. He can't be playing freaking uh you know like four or five minute shifts out there. He's an old man. He's got to play. He's got to play uh you know sporadic shifts back into this thing. All right, Forsberg. Oh, nice poke check. Remember, this is on superstar difficulty too. All right, Polka. All right, let's block that Polka guy. Big hit there by Nikita Zadorov. All right, gives up to Forsberg. All right, here you go, Peter. Let's do this. There you go. Nice deke. Oh, drop pass. Oh, I couldn't grab it. Oh, street. Street. Oh, big slap shot. Ooh, rebound there. All right, uh, okay. Gazino, back over that. There you go. All right, Forsberg out front. Uh, Gazino. Oh, big save there from five hole Layton. Michael Layton. The reason the Flyers do not have a Stanley Cup in their repertoire in the 2000s because of Michael Layton, but a nice puck shield there from Peter Forsberg around the back of the net feeds Agazino in front. But Michael Layton coming up with a big save there. All right, so we're going to simulate up here four and four with nine, 9.51 still left in the third. So Forsberg is going to be taking a face off here against assistant captain who was at 65. And oh, they win the face off. Run Blad with a big shot. Ati Coletto. Nice, nice uh, save there by Ati Coletto. All right, so here comes Forsberg. And oh, he gets hit off the puck, though, by Run Blad. Loses the puck, though. Forsberg back there again. Uh, you know what? Back. Zadaroff. Forsberg gets a shot. Oh, big screen out in front. Winchester. Oh, big, big save again. Oh, Michael Layton with a glove save here. Forsberg sitting right there in front of him. Waiting for that rebound to happen. All right, so it's still 4-on-4 four four once again. Another quick shift there for Forsberg. 7.57. Ooh, we're getting some penalty kill time. Okay. Oh, the power play is just about over, so we're getting our last-minute change in there. Zadarov dumps the puck down right off the back head of somebody. Polka, Forsberg digging in there. All right, uh, go for uh, Andrew Shaw. Oh, he tries to wrap it around. Forsberg staying on Andrew Shaw. Ooh, okay. Andrew Shaw gets it up to Marco Dano. Up they want to change already. All right, coach. Once I'll play some uh, defense here. And we'll give that up to Jerome. And we'll get the line change off. All right, let's see if Jerome does anything with that because we are on the assist. And he turns it over to Runblad. All right. That's like generation to generation right there. Jerome McGinley and Peter Forsberg on the same team. Dear God. What year is this? This is the early, like, 19, <laughs> the 1990s. Jesus. Okay. All right, Versteeg. Right, for Stieg, up oh, pass in front. Oh, Philip Deneau with a nice little pass there. Up, he wraps that one around. That should be for Redmond. Redmond over to Agazino. Up, oh, he hits Forsberg. Forsberg just ripped that. Oh my God! Well, 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 well wide. Up, Kane. Forsberg has it in front. Oh, just misses the net again. All right, Agazino. Forsberg wide open. Oh, big clapper. I'm liking this kid, this uh, Agazino kid. Fia and Forsberg especially well. That was a big, big, big slap shot there from Peter Forsberg right in the middle of the slot. Nobody covering him. We can simulate to our next shift here. Forsberg's having himself a day in there. He's putting the puck on net, trying to make something happen. We got four minutes still left here, though, in the third period. Still nothing to nothing game. Very solid game for both of our attendees. Seabrook, Jalmerson. All right, Jalmerson's over to Tikhanov. Oh, yeah, there's this this new player. Oh, nice play by Forsberg. Oh, nice play there by Nick Holden to intercept that. All right, Forsberg. Uh, you know what? Let's just wrap this around the back of the net. Dump it around. Ross, uh, Jalmerson is going to take it over. All right, Forsberg. Limbias. Limbias, he's going to dump that one in. Uh, Holden couldn't get there. 
Takanov. All right, let's play him. Play him. Play him defensively. Dino. And oh, big save there. Uh, Forsberg, get that out. Oh, shit. Up Dino right in front of Versteeg. Nice up Holden. He lost it. Uh, I'm going to have to go for a line change here. Forsberg. Oh, big block there by Peter Forsberg. What a block, Dino. Another big save there from Atti Coletto. And all right, Street. Yeah, let's get off the ice. Get off the ice, Forsberg. Simulate to the next shift. All right, three minutes still left here. Are we going to go to ooh, 30 seconds still left in the third? We got a chance here. Still a nothing to nothing game. A very close game here between Chicago and Colorado here in the first game of the preseason. All right, once again, let's play him smart. Play him smart. Hope he's going to come back. Seabrook. Oh, big save there from our tendy. All right, Agazino. Agazino. Up uh, feeds Forsberg. Oh, oh, that might have been high sticking, no? Street, Agazino. Oh, oh, he sniped it! <laughs> he snipes it, the kid. This the guy who's been on my line all freaking night. This Agazino guy just snipes the top cheese on Michael Layton with 8.4 seconds left. And Pierre Forsberg gets an assist. So he tipped the pass from uh Agazino. He shot it well, well wide. And then uh, I forget who I don't know who f who uh, fed him. I think it was Redmond. Was it Redmond? I don't even know. But uh, Agazino, he snipes it with 8.4 seconds left. We get ourselves an assist. It was Street. So Street and Forsberg with the assists. And it looks like Colorado is going to be able to hold on to this one to nothing lead. And it looks like they are going to win this game against Chicago in the first preseason game. Peter Forsberg's return to the NHL. And Colorado does come away with a one to nothing win over the Blackhawks in the first game of the preseason. So way to go there. Peter Forsberg shows that, you know, his age has definitely affected him, but he definitely can still play out there. So shooting, we have, we obviously got some uh, shooting uh, increases. We lost our we lost some points in wrist shot accuracy. Puck skills went up, so our passing and deking and stuff like that went up a little bit. Senses, we lost some. Skating, we lost some. Physicality didn't really have too much. Defense went up by a lot, so that's uh, cool to see as well. So that's cool. I like this. Be a pro stuff. Shows you how well your pro is. Uh, definitely increasing, but there you go. 24-29 uh, were the shots, time and attack, fairly even. But the three stars of the game were Acoledo, Leighton, and then Agazino, who gets the only goal assisted from Street and Peter Forsberg. And it's good to be back in the NHL. So there you go, guys. That is going to be probably it for our first episode here of our Be a Pro with Peter Forsberg. We get an assist, so that's all. That's pretty awesome to see. We got an assist in our very first preseason game, and uh, we helped the Colorado Avalanche win that game, one to nothing. So now it is up to you guys. Let me know if you like just simulating the third period, or if you want me to play the entire game, or as well as uh, simulating for uh, other games. Should we like? Should we like skip every game, or should we play every game for preseason, or you know, should we skip two games and then play a game? anything like that i need your guys suggestions whatever you guys would like i will be able to do it for you so let me know in the comment section which thing best works out for you guys and uh we'll continue our career here with peter forsberg so once again guys thank you for watching thank you for voting for this i hope you guys will enjoy this leave a like comment subscribe as always let me know what you guys want to see for this series how you want it to play out other than that thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time when we get peter forsberg back out on the ice